Uh, we're going to move on to South <laughs> Super Rugby Pacifica <laughs> because uh, I'm going to get that one more correctly. Uh, Crusaders took over uh, Chiefs 37-26. Uh, Warthog defeated, lost to the Rebels 21-27. Fiji and Drua over the Force 31-13. Moana Pacifica fall hard to the Blues uh, 47-8. Uh, Highlanders uh, over... Highlanders lose to the Hurricanes, nothing surprising, 12 to 47. And the Reds lose to the Brumbies, 19 to 20. The really biggest one was just the Crusaders finally getting their first win after five straight losses. And especially to the Chiefs, who are top of the league. So they definitely were not about to lose to their cross town rivals, cross country rivals. But big shout out to the Crusaders. Uh, hopefully they get back on the track. But I mean, I also wouldn't be surprised if they continue losing. They just look like they wanted to play badly, very, very badly. Um, this week, we got only four matchups. Uh, Blues will take on the Force. Blues will dominate the Force. Not even worth talking about. Uh, Rebels will be protecting their home against the Fijian Drua. I do feel like the Drua are on a streak, even though they work better at home. I think they're going to be hungry. I think they're going to be able to play against the Rebels well. I think they're going to take them out 26-24 against the Rebels. Uh, Moana Pacifica is up against the Chiefs. Chiefs are about to bat them up like they are a punching bag. Moana Pacifica is just, just, just going to get crushed like the Force. Not even worth talking about. And Brumbies versus Waratahs. Good game. This is actually probably one of the better games to watch. Uh, I do think the Brumbies are going to win, but this is going to be a tight one. I think it's going to come down to the last second, probably to a, uh, either a penalty kick or a drop kick. Look for the Brumbies to win this one, 27-25 over the war toss. Uh, going to switch over code over to NRL because, you know, I said I'm constantly in the pit mix to be able to change my perceptions of NRL. Of course, unfortunately, we weren't able to have Jason on because he is preparing preparing for Hong Kong Sevens that's happening this weekend. And so despite the fact that his Broncos finally got another win, 38-12 over the Cowboys, he is not going to be able to be on here to be able to gloat about it, which means that next week, whenever the Broncos inevitably lose, we're able to bring him on. I will continue to make fun of him because their inconsistency will make me laugh. Uh, Roosters defeated um, Roosters lost to the Panthers 16 to 22 Panthers continuing to find their pacing bit by bit Rabbitohs defeat the Bulldogs 20 to 16 Dragons over Sea Eagles 20 to 12 mainly Sea Eagles just not able to pick up their pace since Las Vegas got a couple wins but could be a lot better two and two for the season uh, Titans fall to the Dolphins 30 to 14 New Zealand Warriors over Knights, 20 to 12. It looks like the Knights, the Warriors are getting synchronization. Great plays, great kicking on that one, man. It, it was a tough one, and the Warriors lost a player early on in that game. But, man, they were able to get themselves back to play. Uh, Sharks over Raiders, 36-22. And Parramatta Eels oh, uh, lose to West Tigers, 17 to 16 which I definitely thought the Eels were going to be able to keep that one going. Great game by the West Tigers on that one. Moving forward, because uh, I don't think there's too, too much to talk about last week. Moving forward for this week, you got the Broncos taking on the Storm. Uh, that one should be a really, really um, significant game because both of these teams really are trying to uh, uh, get a, a leg up on the other one. Uh, I, I see this one very very tightly simply because of the fact that you got the uh the storm sitting at number at fifth in the league broncos even though they're at 12th are still a traditional powerhouse team i look at the storm to be able to get the win on this one because they're going to be at home but broncos are going to be playing this one hard um bulldogs uh taking on the roosters uh, Knights oh, uh, taking on the Dragons. I, these ones I don't know that much about. Unfortunately, I don't have my expertise with me. Rabbitohs over War Rabbitohs will be taking on the Warriors at home. I do think the Warriors are going to win this one. Rabbitohs got a really necessary win last week over the Bulldogs, but I don't know if they're going to be able to repeat it. I think the Warriors are catching their 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 pacing on that one. Uh, sea Eagles going up against the Panthers. Manly Sea Eagles need this one panthers need to protect themselves because even though they have one loss they're second on the season but hey man you don't want to get losing a losing streak happening uh and you don't want to lose momentum as you're starting to gather it 
That being said, I think the Panthers are going to end up winning this one over the Sea Eagles. Manly is just struggling. They're struggling. Uh, and they're But they're at home, and it's tough to win at home from what Jason told us. Um, but I think this one, Panthers, 27-20. Uh, uh, 27 20 uh panthers over sea eagles uh dolphins go to west uh dolphins protect their house against west tigers uh cowboys are going up against titans and raiders are going to be going up against the paramedic eels i think the paramedic eels are are really going to be looking to get one back after losing last week uh raiders a tough team but i think the eels take this one uh 14 10 uh in a close game Buckwheat is changing lives. My name is Gip Tabelu. I'm here with Health Enhanced Foods, and I want to tell you about one of my favorite products on our shelves, Buckwheat Baking Mix. Uh Buckwheat is a seed that is incredibly nutrient and protein dense. But what makes it even more important, that buckwheat baking mix is absolutely gluten free. A lot of times whenever people have buckwheat mixes, they actually even hold wheat inside of it. So you know it's not fully gluten. And if you're a person that is celiac or diabetic, or you're just really trying to be health conscious, it's not something that you want to have to worry about. What makes our buckwheat baking mix even more important is that it is versatile. You can use it for pancakes, you can use it for waffles, you can use it for making loaves of bread, you can make it for pu cupcakes. But what helps even more is that it is allergen free, it is nut free, it is dairy free, that there is no additional additives in it. There's no leavening there so that if you want to be able to raise your bread, you can put in the baking powder yourself and get it fluffy. If you don't, you absolutely do not have to. You get the bread that you love without the cost to your health. You can absolutely find buckwheat baking mix at healthenhancedfoods.com. Absolutely check it out. Get your nostalgia back. Get back to eating and loving the way that you are and absolutely get back to the energy that you know that you can get without having to destroy yourself. I'm looking forward to seeing you get it. Let's go.